Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Modern Warfare 3 Update 133 official patch notes video here on my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on that bell to all so you don't miss out on my next video. Now, let's go ahead and get right into the patch notes of Update 133. This update came out last night. Hopefully, you guys all have this update installed, which you should have by now. But we do have a tweet by Call of Duty Updates. They said a small update was deployed earlier today with several bug fixes and changes. If you guys want to read the patch notes, I'll leave it in the description box down below. But I'm going to cover everything here in this video. But in this tweet right here, they're basically saying that their teams are hard at work to get movement changes fixed, multiplayer weapon balancing, zombie gameplay and stability fixes, and more into the next available update. So 134 is definitely going to come out. And they do have a Trello board of all the problems of modern warfare 3 that is going on right now so let's go ahead and get right into the patch notes of update 133 so for cod hq players will no longer encounter a black screen where modern warfare 3 tiles are expected fix an issue console players where cross launching from one game to another disbanded parties containing a split screen player they fix an issue for PC players where selective installs were not available to play after the installation was completed a fix has been implemented to solve several crashes that occurred during the application startup sequence. So that is what they've done for Global, and this is for COD HQ as a whole. Now for stability and performance, PC players with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs can now use DLSS 3 across all modes in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So you have DLSS NVIDIA Super Resolution and Frame Generation, and basically you can it multiplies performance up to 1.8x to enhance your PC experience. They fixed a bug in which some console players would encounter an error upon being invited to a party. They fixed a bug in which some console players were pushed to the main menu. After selecting certain items in the battle pass, they resolved a bug in which some players were kicked back to the multiplayer lobby after attempting the matchmake in any playlist. And they addressed account-based issues that prevented offline play. Now, moving on, we have campaign. We have stability and performance and gameplay fixes that they have done for the campaign. A lot of people don't like Modern Warfare 3 campaign. A lot of y'all said it was trash. So if you guys want to pause the video and read this for yourself, I can care less about campaign. Now, for multiplayer, UIX, we have bug fixes. Enemy player elevation will now properly displayed on the minimap. They fixed a bug in which playlists would disappear from the main menu for some console players. Prompt to view gamer card on the scoreboard now functions as expected for console players. Promoting a player to party leader will no longer allow them to attempt to match make for locked playlists. So that's what they've done for multiplayer. Now for progression, we have weapons. They address an issue that prevented bolt attachments from being unlocked at the expected weapon level for the CAT AMR sniper rifle. For challenges, they introduced new requirements for the priceless camo challenge for the WSP Swarm submachine gun, get 10 operator double kills while in tack stance, resolved issues that prevented several challenges from tra tracking completion progress, they corrected unlock challenge tracking conditions for a BBQ operator. So that's what they've done for progression and also for challenges that you guys can see right here. And that's also good. Okay. Now for maps like terminal, players can no longer plant at the A bomb site from an unattended location and search and destroy. The Popov power, players will no longer spawn in enemy territory in the invasion mode. For modes like TDM, they increase the score limit from 75 to 100. In Ground War, they address an issue causing Dev Era 841 during normal gameplay. So that's also been addressed. And I know a lot of people don't like having Dev Errors and all that crap. So ha I'm happy that's fixed, okay? Now for weapons and attachments, the MCW assault rifle, they increase the hit fire control during sustained fire. That goes for the Bass B battle rifle as well. The MTZ, that also goes for that. The Renetti, also for that one. Jack, the carbine kit. Thermo Optic X9 and SZ. Optic attachments can now be toggled as expected. And for the TYR handgun, they increase the hit fire control during sustained fire. And for Odin's judgment, the trigger action. They decrease trigger response time to the attended 210 MS duration. So that's what they've done for weapons and attachment. Now let's go ahead and talk about zombies. So for cosmetics, it says gun screen audio will now play as expected upon pressing the preview button. Tracer pack, Hellsing operator bundle. They fix a bug in which a Lucard was missing his handgun in the operator preview. 
And then down here below for zombies, for gameplay, they address an issue that prevented missions in Act 2 from auto-queuing while in-game. For stability, they fixed the crash I countered when players navigated to the store, a progression tab, and the launcher menu when queuing, and various stability and map fixes. So that is what they've done for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Okay, um, I'm not sure if they nerfed the Sentry Gun glitch and nerfing the XP amount of how much XP you do if you just keep X filling and just killing a bunch of zombies and gaining a massive amount of XP. I really can't tell you that right now, but when I do get the chance, I will be uploading some glitches tonight. So be stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have that bell clicked on the all. So when I upload a video, you guys know when I'm about to drop. So hopefully you guys all enjoy this video. It's been Update 133, official patch notes video here on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. And make sure you, make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video. I'm going to catch you on my next one. Thank you for tuning in. Peace out.